just wants to have one more moon dance with you. Shall I just make some more romance with you, my love? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of Van Morrison. Have a mouth from a cherry pear, yeah, the rain keeps pouring down. Be a bill that's standing there with the silver half a crown. George Ivan Morrison was born August 31st, 1945, in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Thanks to his father's extensive record collection, he was exposed to music early and joined his first band at 12. Morrison gained his first taste of success outside his homeland with the group Them in the mid-60s. Their live shows, plus hits like their Baby Please Don't Go cover, got them noticed. And while Morrison penned the popular anthem Gloria during this time with the band, he left them in 1966 to pursue a solo career. He then recorded several tracks for Bang Records, which were released as Van Morrison's solo debut, Blowing Your Mind, in 1967. Most notably, that rock and R&B effort yielded the pop success which later became his signature tune and a much-covered track. Despite personal and professional obstacles, Morrison soon found a home with Warner Brothers Records. With them, he released 1968's musical masterpiece, Astral Weeks. This record demonstrated his ambitious use of diverse genres and styles like blues, soul, jazz, and folk. Despite slow-going commercial success, the concept album came to be known as one of Morrison's best works. 1970s Moon Dance continued Morrison's critical recognition. It also heightened his fame and chart success after it reached Billboard's Top 30. The album saw the artist add R&B and country rock to his sound and gave him a Top 40 single with Come Running. As well as a radio success with the title cut. That same year, Morrison had his highest charting single when Domino, off his band and the street choir, peaked at number nine on Billboard. I said, oh, he released seven more studio albums during the 1970s, including the country-oriented Tupelo Honey, and the genre-mixing top 20 record, St. Dominic's Preview. Other significant efforts were the lyrically complex Veden Fleece, the gold certified pop flavored Wavelength, and the inspirational Into the Music. Notwithstanding bouts of stage fright, the Belfast Cowboy was at the height of his stage prowess during the 1970s, as demonstrated on the live album It's Too Late to Stop Now, and during his legendary performance with the band during the last Waltz concert. After opening the 1980s with the jazzy but poorly received common one, Morrison returned to critics' favors with the Celtic-infused Beautiful Vision. He expanded his spiritual interests in many of that decade's albums. Examples included the heavily instrumental, inarticulate speech of the heart, the haunting no guru, no method, no teacher, and the highly regarded poetic champions compose. Oh, 1989's Avalon Sunset even spawned a top 20 UK duet with Cliff Richard. Reach out for him. Reach out for him. He'll be there. He'll be there. 
While continuing to tour and record new material, the artist gained newfound popularity in the early 90s with the Best of Van Morrison compilation. Notable records from this period included the critically and commercially well-received Too Long in Exile, the Mercury Prize-nominated Days Like This, and the blues and R&B disc Back on Top. Back on the street. In addition to writing new music, Morrison launched his own label, played several gigs, and issued several compilations in the new millennium. Following a duet album with Linda Gale Lewis, he reached the top 30 with Down the Road and earned a Grammy nod for the bluesy What's Wrong with This Picture. In 2008, Van Morrison had his highest U.S. chart showing yet when Keep It Simple premiered at the 10th position of the Billboard 200. Oh, yeah. Even on a Friday, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Born to Sing No Plan B was unveiled in 2012 serving up some of Van Morrison's political and social observations, along with spiritual musings, the album also featured his trademark fusion of musical styles. With his unique voice, poetic lyrics, and uplifting live performances, Van Morrison has proven his musical talents time and time again. But it's his mix of soul, pop, jazz, blues, R&B, skiffle, Celtic folk, gospel, and rock that truly makes him Van the Man. Right.